Levin's gonna come find me and kill me. Oh my um, god. In Minecraft, of course, for Twitch purposes. But before all that, we are gonna be having Reed come up on deck in the loser side, coming up to losers top 32. And we have Ufine coming back here. I believe Ufine was also at DTN. Um, yeah. I wanna say. I remember making a U Fine yeah. joke and being like, oh my god, thank you. But I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't remember. U Fine has, I mean, a Pac Man that felt a little bit unconventional. Uh, pretty cool, honestly. So I'm curious how that translates to fighting Mithra, a character that can really get in your face. And also, I don't know if the, the media wants me to tell you this. They might kill me for telling you this. But uh oh. Mithra can initial dash through Hydrant. She and Sonic are the only characters. They can initial dash. They have to use an extended dash, but you just go straight through that thing. I don't know if Reed knows, but uh, yeah, it, it's horrifying. I was going to say, I think Reed did it, but that was Reed doing side B, yeah. not initial dash. Mithra so. can also just dash straight over Lloyd Trap with Isabel on the ground. Yeah, as God intended. Is it because she's just, it's just her speed? No, the Lloyd, the, the, the Lloyd Trap just doesn't trigger fast enough. She, oh, you, you mean her, yeah. Like her, her speed. Yeah. Like her and Sonic speed. She's just too darn fast. That's insane. Oh, you might, oh, I love this. Remember when we would just sit there in shield, staring at the neutral. And then the shield's going down, so it's like, you could just like break it right now. Like, I, I would just break it. It's like blocked up. Uh. I was like, no, you're not going to touch me. And you know what? You fine was like, you know what? You're right. Oh, my bad. I'm not going to touch you. You're fine. But going over to uh, Reed, now on the Sorry, Pyra. Oh, the no. bell gets. This is a bad position. You're Pyra off stage and you jump into it. Oh, no. And that should be it. Yeah. Wow. I feel like you find. It's really interesting because, like, a lot of my. Oh, okay. Oh. So, uh, whenever I start talking about a player and saying that they're. Really you know, good. They're, they're, they're really good. They're doing great. They just die instantly. But I will say that you find gets mileage out of every fruit aside from the first two. I think that, like, a lot of oranges, a lot of melons, even, which we don't see as much of. Apples. Yeah, look at that. Like, <laughs> I and feel like, orange. Yeah, and um, not afraid to just like even even right here, like throw a melon for example. But um, you can come at somebody with very scary strategies. But at the end of the day, Pyramithra have giant swords, and it's a question of how much can you mix up those strategies. You're right, but here comes the oh. ooh, charging up. <laughs> that attack is a little bit insane. Gets keyed for their efforts. Reed uh, and you find super even here. You find Sly in, in the back seat. However, I believe we're able to find a little bit of those setups, like the, with the with the uh, hydrant, for example, with the grape and not the grape. Nah, sorry, I meant the orange. <laughs> those be really good. But the blazing end does come through. Gets the grab, goes for the up throw, and wants to go oh, for the up air. And we yes. find it after you find willingly goes to put down the hydrant. I think has been the second time he's gotten punished for it. Yeah. Wow. Um. And again, like there's a character that can punish your move. It's probably Mithra. Not gonna lie. Um, oh, almost. oh, we went for it. But yeah, going over, um, overshoot. But yeah, I mean, these punishes are just so. Oh, See, wow. when, whenever I talk about what somebody's doing well, they die instantly. Oh yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Reed's <laughs> playing really good, and then um, they ha they did a, they did a short hop dare, which would have actually been fine yeah. if oh my. Bell wasn't in hand the whole time. Yo, Reed really does like. But you see, like earlier, we saw the um, the G Extreme set, right? With uh, Reed, I, I mean. In a set like that, yeah, like Pyro won't work great, but against Pac-Man, like, yeah, do it. Pull out the Pyro. Like, it works great here, you know? Um, so I think now we're really seeing Reed play style shine more against Pac-Man, but you gotta watch out for the bell. Oh, no, Reed doesn't know the matchup check. You can jump out of shield there and catch the bell, and Pac-Man's in a terrible position. You can only hit your shield once per, uh, per toss. But, I mean, come on. There's so many characters in this darn game. How can you be expected to know every little thing? At this point, it's been like five years. Come on now. Almost six years. That's true. You know what? That's it. We're haters now. We're haters Reed, now. Reed you should have caught that bell. You should have caught that bell. We're editorializing. It. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Me, I would have done it. But there we go. Nice. <laughs> okay. Getting rid of your own hydra just to get okay. punished Reed, for Reed a dash tag. That Saying, was crazy. You people sitting there in the commentary booth telling me Talking what to do. Talking all this smack. Talking all this smack. That's my job, bestie. My job <laughs> is to talk smack, but also be smacked the fuck up if I ever get in a ring with y'all. So... <laughs> Don't worry. I know where my where I where I land, where I stand. You know, if, if you ask me again the six right now, I'm getting cooked. Mm -hmm. So look at that. Yeah. Oh god, it, it's hard to catch that hydrant when um, Pac-Man's landing with it. But there are methods. I mean, Pyro can hit it with a uh, aerial. Get out of the way. Probably like Nair or something, right? Uh, yeah. Nair has a lot of hit legs. That was so was, good. Oh my yeah. god. But like that, like, and I think that as much as we were criticizing the Pyro decision earlier against Hugh Extreme, I think that that specific dash attack. 
showcases how much mastery Reed has over Pyra specifically. Because that was a very Pyra dash attack, right? That was like a very... That was the way to get the kill, given what Pac-Man did. And I think that that... You really can't understate the mastery there. And it's great because she just kind of went right underneath the arch of the Hydrant, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it worked out very nicely. You find Slithering himself, I'm sorry, not really sorry, uh, Reed Slithering himself underneath that was a honestly game winner for himself. And going over a small battlefield, making everything a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, a little more intimate with the two of us here as we're going to be seeing Reed go over back to that Pyro and put a lot of pressure with that down there. Looking for the up air, but not going to find it. The Blazing End barely with it, oh. but there's a the pickup after the parry. And Reed's just movement in general is so buttery. Like, I, I see all these wavelengths. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and just all these little rars, um, you know, off of, like, a Mithra down throw, Mithra down throw. Oh, you're dead. <gasps> oh, no! Wait, let's go. Didn't yeah. die there. Reed has to go right back and try again. Oh, there right. it is, right off stage, where we're going to find the connection. Goes back to the Mithra. The uh, Gallic is ready for the use for uh, you fine, and all we, honestly, all we need is to get one little connection, yeah. especially on someone like Pyro, which is a little bit slower, but the bell's on there, gets completely avoided by Reed, and now we're back to the Mithra. You find untouched so far in the second stock. And also a little psychology thing I'd like to mention. I think right now, if you are you fine, you recognize that, oh, Reed isn't punishing the bell. Oh. I'm just gonna throw out the bell because I'm not gonna get the bell caught, right? As I say that, that's what happens. I'm just saying. <laughs> Damn, the one, the one time he didn't go Pyro to try to recover yeah. and, and went like the actual option of Mithra recovery, he just gets yeah. orange tough. But yeah, I, I think Reed is struggling to deal with just kind of the, the bell that is tossed directly at you right now. And I think that making Pac-Man pay for that is one of the most important things in the matchup. But Reed just having the fundamentals as a player is definitely going... Oh. You're going to not get completely destroyed by something like that, but it is something that we're noticing. Like, look at this. Just bell and boom. Oh it my hits God. Reed. And it hits Reed. Reed isn't prepared for it. You find didn't even attempt to try to punish or fall up on that bell just being uh, lazily <laughs> stepped in by Reed there. I'll say it. it was there a was bit a lazy. giant flaming sword in the middle. To it's be okay. fair. To be fair, we, we could jump over it and kill. Yeah. Pac-Man down tilt. It's the rare one in a million Pac-Man down tilt. When do you ever see that move? You know I missed it because I was looking at you. <laughs> no! <laughs> so I still have never seen the Pac-Man so, It's like missing the uh, the Aurora, you know? Like, it's uh, what a tragedy. I can't. I missed the world's most rarest, like, downs in the game. That's so sad. It was a cloudy sky, and, and the Aurora came out, and you're never going to see it again. Now I got to pay attention. Maybe you find us it again, but the oh. orange gets thrown out the grab, does not connect. We go for the down throw. I'm sorry, down to air, and then we get the Wait. another one for your efforts. I'm, I'm charging Bell and throwing it. Right now. Do it, do oh, it, no, it. no. Oh, it's a key. All right. This is why you find it's better than me at Pac-Man. <laughs> you have gone for the bell and thrown it, clearly. Yeah, listen. I, I, I As a Pac-Man main, I uh, I was shameless. I You were nefarious. I was Someone nefarious. had to you up. This is definitely a much more fundamentally solid Pac-Man, and it, it's reflected in everything that you find does. And also being so um, reserved with when you want to throw that bell out, and so, or when you want to not throw bell out and go for key instead, good options overall. There it but is. There it is. There it is. A very go true. For tilt, go for the there once, uh, the forward once more. <laughs> the throw just decides not to grab. Grab clink. Grab, All right. Grab clink with Mithra. That's very that was funny. hilarious. Any anything grab clink with Pac-Man throw, like yeah. it looks ridiculous. It, like, look how far we are. How does how does clink? So ridiculous. Um, all right, but if you're, uh, you find right now you really got to figure out an answer. Um, Ooh, down mind. air into up air is going to be it. I mean, that's a tale as, as old as time. Since day one, we've been knowing that. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I mean, there's a lot to worry about with Pyro. But above all, don't get F smashed and do not get down air. Oh, this is first of three. Okay, got it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was wondering. like, why are they so locked in? I'm confused. I see. We have now entered best of five territory. The realm of true champions. This camera does not want Reed to shine, bro. It keeps <laughs> unfocusing <laughs> randomly. I'm but tell it's the aura. It, uh, he's just too powerful for that camera. It's I like think. it's like Ultra Instinct Goku when it shows up. And know, it's like and making the camera yeah, awkward. Yeah, and the camera that. like shit. Yeah, it's like it's that. It's destroying itself from like, his orbital rays. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. We're going over to game three. Game Best three. Best of five, first to three series. Reed up by two. You find almost there. Just a little yeah. bit. It has to be a little bit cleaner with these uh these ex ex these exchanges. I mean, if this is lost, it's definitely like 3-0, open parentheses, close though. Close parentheses, you know, there's no shame in it. But, oh, no, the punish. Yeah, and I keep talking about, you know, Reed missing these bell punishes, but, but you know, still being able to capitalize on everything else. Um, 
a punish like that on Mithra side, you gotta be careful because like, how often does Mithra of all characters give you an opening, right? So when she does give you those free openings, you gotta be able to like, absolutely capitalize on them, you know? Uh, there's no again. Oh, there's yeah. no oh. set up. I mean, picked it up. Okay, Reed is. Reed heard us. Reed locked he said, in. "Hold on." Yeah. Okay. We're, Stop we're, we're coaching from the couch. <laughs> we're coaching. We're from coaching the from the couch. Wait. The couch coasting is the couch coasting. The couch commentary is crazy. But come on now, Reed. Now try and go for this down there. You find you. Oh, you find able to cape, come back to the stage and set up the Hydra at the same time. Yeah. Ooh, blazing and putting and Reed in a really uncomfortable position. A second one. Oh. I actually not? love Reed's blazing and spam because it's it's so smart. Which is it's messed up, but it is smart. And after the mid Oh wow. Wait. What? We hit forward smash, charge, killed. One like one fifty, one sixty. I thought Reed was gonna actually drop oh. down after the stun, but I guess they pop back up. Unfortunate. Really good for you fine. Even better that Reed brought it right back. Yeah. 106 after the hit. Jeez, she hit so hard. Power that is. Yeah. Uh but let me tell you. Pac-Man. This character maybe can't kill sometimes, but if you can hit with one bell, like I, oh. you, you see your entire life flashing before your eyes. Okay, Reed's locked in now. We got it. Okay, we got yes, it. that's what I'm saying. So I guess Reed absolutely did know, but I mean, probably just hadn't played a Pac-Man lately, right? That's fair. And I think now that Reed knows, I I worry for you fine because that is that's gonna put a lot yeah. of dent in his game plan yeah. by a lot here because he has been really just throwing it out. And hoping that it connects. That one didn't connect for the for the third time. But Reed off stage as Pit uh, as Pyra has to be careful how we approach. Goes for the down air, very simple. Misses the nair, misses any other connection besides the blazing end that comes right after the fact. Reed now waiting for the down air. Maybe oh no, waits for the approach from Ufine who goes for the jump in rather than anything else. That's what I am talking oh. about. Oh, <laughs> we are aiming. That would be amazing if it hit, but it didn't. Oh, okay, goodbye. Yeah, those bells. Scary stuff. And they look the same, but you find is doing them at different timings, different situations. So it's like, it can be tilting. Like, why am I getting hit by the same thing over and over? But really, it's not the same thing. It just looks like the same thing. Um, but the first that doesn't stop your uh, three brain cells, <laughs> you know, the, the, the lizard brain from being like, ah, no, I'm just hitting the same thing over and over again. Oh, Miss um, Mithra doing no yeah. damage to that fourth throw. Going back to the pyro oh. and the regular old... Uh, sorry, look at all the moves. Look at this movement. The, the mid stocks movement tells you so much about a player, and I think that I think Reed's locked in. Yeah, I I'm kind of detecting that Reed may or may not be locked in. I I, I think I'm gonna agree with you on that one, Mod, because uh, you see how many moves there were. He was just moving around. Look, uh, platform one, the base of the the map itself. Platform two, like he was just going all around. He is ready to oh, go. No. Oh. A, a little too ready, actually, yeah, a little, too. A little bit too locked in. A, you know? a little too locked in. We got to lock back out a little bit. Clock out for a second. <laughs> Come back. Breathe. No more random forest matches. Oh. Go for those blazing ends. That's what you're talking. What I'm talking about. Wait for the approach. With the grab, turn the wrong way. You it's find throwing the orange out. Gets another one back. Uh, set up in the back pocket. And great parry on the hydrant. But going to the Mithra here. Pat can't catch a break today, right? First it's Richter Cross going through hydrant. Now it's blazing end going through hydrant. Like, come on. Poor Pac-Man. Actually, I take that back. I'll never feel bad for Pac-Man. Never feel bad for Pac-Man. Here's the bell. Okay, no okay, way. You're going to hit by it again. I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It keeps happening. And I point it out because I, I don't think Reed is fully prepared for what that has to offer. You know, I think the bell, all it takes is one. You could be playing so on point. You could be playing so precise. But if there's one move that you are not fully prepared for, that Ran one Random move, bell. What? Random, random bell. Never prepared for it. Random? Random. Oh, yeah, it's random. But yeah, so I, I, was, I was confused for a sec because there's no such thing as random. Every no. Pac-Man bail is perfectly calculated. Every projectile used is the product of every single this brain cell. This sounds like cell, Coke. Every neuron. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, every neuron in Jimmy Neutron's brain yep. is being activated. It's just like Steve. Like, just a massively intelligent character. Um, that said, <laughs> we're getting right into it. And... Uh, Really off to a good start. I think that if you get hit by something like that to end a game, you are quite frankly oh, not cherry. happy. You're pissed off. Yeah, that's the first cherry that I've actually seen from you. Fine, and not a single strawberry yet either. Sorry, that's the first cherry I've ever seen ever. Uh, like period. They're kind of fun. They're kind of fun. Um, against like Bayo Fox sometimes in the corner, but like yeah, not, you don't really see it too much. Mm, not really, but. Again, Orange is built up, and we're transitioning over, trying Ooh. to get that belt again, but beautiful parry gets the forward throw coming in. Reed starting off very... Sh I want to say Reed just started off on Pyra, I think. Yeah. Like, we have Mithra for maybe one combo, maybe, 
And now we're just we're just not playing around again. We're I playing think with the pyro. Mithra is way better in the matchup, but if you're oh nice, but if you're not like familiar with a matchup as you could be, sometimes like what it what the truth is on paper doesn't matter. You know, it, it, it's as simple as oh, I'm familiar with Pyra. Pyra has big moves. They're safe moves. And I should just use Pyra. And I think that recognizing that is definitely doing me a lot of favors. But right now, of course, spamming. Uh, Oh my god. Two in a row is insane. <laughs> yeah. We must be serious. We're going over to the no! Pyra and we okay, grab it! Okay. We grab it when we go for the Promise Revolt. It has a force to you use are... the okay, Mithra, yeah. but we live! Ideological victory. At that point, you're just you're happy that you caught the thing, you know? And, and yes, Reed is playing a little bit like I did not enjoy getting killed by Bell last game. Um, throw it. <laughs> there we go. There it is. There it is. No, I feel. I'm gonna uh... ban the word Bell from your vocabulary. Yeah. Every time you mention it, Reed is getting like. Caught out by it every single time. Because I speak only truth. What can I say? It's true. Only truths are being spoken here today. Going back to the myth right here, maybe just to uh, match up the pace a little bit here. Oh. If not ex uh, extend it further than you find can really handle. And Reed's combos are so beautiful. They're so precise. And like the RARs involved are very precise. Like they're pretty much frame tight. Um, but just doing them effortlessly. Oh no, the key. Oh, Reed's. Okay, oh. <laughs> Reed's playing a little bit too much with his food, knowing that he doesn't really have to approach being in the tentacle, the lead here. Um, so it's making you find have to approach. That's so good. Being so the being look at really that anxious. blazing end, able to catch Pac-Man. Wow, that worked. If Pac-Man always do hydrant air dodge, right? Yeah. Pyra struggles to cover that, but then you toss blazing end, it goes through the hydrant, hits that air dodge. Um, yeah, that might have been a game-winning blazing end because it's going to be difficult to come back. There's the melon. Oh man. If I missed that, I'd be feeling oh, real big melancholy. Apple. All right, we got the apple. It's reliable. It's always there for you when you need it. Of course, if you need it, you probably made a couple mistakes. Or If you need yeah. it, you probably made a couple mistakes. I mean, because that means they're at like 180, but hey. <laughs> and, you know, surely Reed was around that around that point, yeah. if not almost there. But Reed, still yeah. down a whole stock here from Ufine. It has to bring it back. Goes for the, uh, the down air as well. And I completely agree with Reed's decision here. Stick to the platforms. Yeah. Don't Pac-Man is such strong horizontal neutral. Like, you can play vertical neutral because you have a stock lead. And Pac-Man actually has to pretty significantly commit to actually hit you off of your platform camping. Like, you could just kind of chill here. And that's exactly what Reed is doing. Going for the Mithra now. Now being the aggressor. Goes back to the power almost immediately after getting the <laughs> first initial dash attack in. And the Blazing End whips completely. The forward smash is very much uh, hopeful from you fine but it's okay <laughs> they're able to set up that hydrant and farm for this bell again oh, which no. whips against Reed, but we get the re-grab <laughs> oh we're just flashing the fundies. shield when somebody just turn around grab out of shield you know they have fundies that's always the fundies check all right all right um we have bell don't get hit by this please okay let's take it back <laughs> Reed is evolving Reed is evolving. In the micro spacing he is taking, you know, in order to make sure he's not getting hit by his belt is very good. And the same tactics that Yufan has been so consistent in getting are not working against Reed no more. There's the down air, whips the up air, oh. but the second one's gonna connect the very tail end of it That's pretty and big. sends Yufan all the way up in the platform. I'm um, laughing the blast big. zone. That was kind of big, actually. I cannot lie. Large attack. Big um, attack, go burr. But, you know, if you're Pac Man, you get caught in your landing, yeah, it's kind of your fault. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but there's obviously a lot of mix-ups for you. And I think that was just kind of, you wait for the hydrant, you're in the air, and you predict the landing perfectly. Yeah, those those bells were really making Reed suffer, but able to, um, great edge guard too, from fine. But able to make those kind of last ditch plays, I want to say, like, it didn't feel like necessarily a super, like, clean or like, like, you know, like it was in the bag at any point. But just a lot of like good, patient, sort of clutch last hit reads from Reed. Yeah. Yes. And I think that that's what you got to do. Uh, I, I was worried for the pyro after that set before. But sometimes personal comfort, sticking with the character with the giant flaming sword that kills you instantly. Why not? And I am a really big fan of Reed's um, Pyra specifically. The Mithra is very good, though. You know, not to get it twisted for two seconds, but oh. when Reed was able to finally Stop. play the Pyra, mm -hmm. oh, it was great. And that was clearly, like, you know, his preferred character. Yeah. Uh, more so than the, the Mithra, but he understands the dynamics between when you should go Mithra, 
when it's accessible to have to switch back to Mithra if it's like in the middle of Pyra and when to have uh, the advantage state and push it as Pyra. It's just a very easy way to see that, okay, Reed understands what his character needs to do and why his character needs to win here or what his character can do to win. It's also always really refreshing, refreshing to see, especially at this level on top 32, but that was loser, so you find oh, no. exiting out of the tournament. Well, you find had a lot of very fun sets, actually. Um, I think when Pac-Man is mentioned, you can think of a certain kind of play style, and like, yeah, there's some camping, but you find brought, I think, a very fresh take to the table. Um, we saw, I mean, a lot of bells that set because it was working, but you know, when when it, they don't work that okay, that was funny. That was that was great. Yeah, we don't work that much. Like we were, we saw like tons of melons and you know relaxians and and uh, bells and keys and uh, oranges too. I, I mean, just every fruit you can imagine aside from strawberry. And I think that's fun. I, I like it when people use all their characters' tools. We even saw a down tilt at some point. Um, but yeah, I think I think Reed in particular uh, was just kind of able to clutch it out in the end and. I think we definitely got a much better showing of the Pyro than against Pikachu, because like, it's kind of hard to see the real read when you're just getting edge guarded, you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean Pikachu is just a little bit superior to Pyro in a lot of different ways.